Hey YouTube, I'm working on my MX-5 mower today and changing the blades out. And normally it's a pretty rough job to do with a regular wrench. I've got a three quarter inch impact wrench here, a nice blue point. And, uh, but I can't get close to my air compressor. My air compressor's in the shop and I'm running on a hundred foot long hose to get out here and work on this. And the uh, longer the hose, the less air moves through it. So it doesn't have enough oomph to run even a half inch air compressor or air, half inch impact wrench to take that uh, bolt loose. So I rigged up this accumulator. It's out of an old tank from a small portable compressor. I uh, got it out the scrap yard for practically nothing. Um, I could also use this to air up tires if I put a valve right here, but I didn't bother to do that today. I just made an accumulator. So let's see if it'll break loose this bolt with my big impact wrench. I've got my three quarter inch impact wrench set up here and I've lined up the bolt. Pretty sure it's lined up. This is a one and a half inch nut. There it is. You can see even that three quarter inch wrench struggled. Okay, well, it um, obviously with the accumulator, it was able to do it, even at 100 foot of hose. So, hope that helps you. While I was editing the video, I realized I'd never told you how to make the thing. You can see it's pretty simple. This is an old air tank complete with feet, even has a vent on the bottom for venting the water. Just a matter of finding the right couplers to fit your tank. You have one input for the quick coupler, an output for the quick coupler. If you want to put a valve over here, you can make it into a portable storage tank so you can charge it up, take it out in the field, and air up your bicycle tires or whatever. That's all there is to it. Okay, a couple other things. Um, if you don't have a uh, scrap air compressor sitting around, you can use the tank from your uh, water system in your house. Um, you know, find those salvaged. Usually those are scrapped out because the bladder inside has gone bad, but they still hold air or they hold water. Um, you can use them to make a portable air tank or you can use, what was the other thing? Um, oh, another way is to you just go to uh, Tractor Supply or Northern Tool or someplace like that and buy a portable air storage tank. It's designed to be charged up at your compressor and hauled to a lo different location. It'd be a simple matter to plumb that up so that you can use it as an accumulator. And then you have a storage tank and an accumulator. That's it.